A report from the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services shows that black children are disproportionately taken into CPS custody more often than kids of other races. Fox 26's Donnelly Keith joining us live now looking into that and what's being done about it. Well, many advocates say not enough is being done, and they say the problem of African-American children overwhelmingly being taken away from their parents and placed in CPS care has happened for far too long and for more than 60 years. <laughs> the home video and pictures of the Birch family show smiling, happy faces. What you don't see is the eight-month battle Reniqua Birch endured as she fought to get her kids back out of CPS custody. I was working to pay legal fees. Um, yeah, I emptied out my savings. Birch is actually a social worker. Three of her kids are adopted. The four youngest were taken by CPS in 2018 as she was going through a divorce. And three weeks into a summer day camp, someone reported her to CPS. The four-year-old, she said he had a bruise on his back and it was like yellow and it was close to his bottom. And as she was describing it, I said, are you talking about his birthmark? She was. In fact, she says everything the CPS worker pointed out, such as the ringworm her son was being treated for, had a simple explanation. She believes her kids were taken because of the color of her skin. If I was a white mom that had adopted kids, especially black kids, I would be praised. I think that unfortunately white families are given a presumption of fitness where I don't think that we see the same especially with the African-American families that we serve. It's not a surprise at all. Alan Detlef is the Dean of the Graduate College of Social Work at University of Houston and a former CPS worker. There was a study that I was involved in in the mid-2000s when the state was mandated to look at disproportionality that showed that black children in Texas were 77% more likely than white children to be removed from their homes in lieu of receiving services in the home. Also, African-American children are less likely to be allowed to stay with family members. Relatives are barred either because of over-policing in the community, so they have criminal history. Travis County State District Court Judge Aurora Martinez-Jones points to two cases she had where two women were arrested in different traffic stops for drug possession. The police officer allowed the white mom to call her her mother to pick up her child, but the black mom wasn't given the same chance and her child was taken away by CPS. Much of the public has become aware of the harm and the trauma that parents and children experience when children are separated from parents at the border. That same harm and trauma occurs when children are separated from their parents by child protection agencies. It doesn't make sense that the system that's supposed to be there to help support and protect children is causing additional trauma to children. Now, CPS says overrepresentation of minorities in a system is found across many systems, including child welfare, education, juvenile justice, criminal justice, and health care. This is true nationally and in Texas, the statement says. Statistics show those who report allegations of abuse and neglect are more likely to make reports regarding African American children, and minority children are more likely to be removed from their families. DFPS is committed to partnering with representatives across systems and communities to listen and address issues of disproportionality in CPS, is what the statement says. And again, it took Raniqua Birch about eight months to get her kids back from CPS custody. The Houston nonprofit Foster Care Advocacy Center, which offers free services, says uh, that any family who has a CPS investigation against them should contact their group immediately when that investigation starts because they say once the child is removed, the family only has about a one in five chance of getting their kiddo back. And we do have information for that group on our website. This is certainly a topic we will continue to follow. Reporting live, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.